in a bit of a family crisis. Someone took me trousers. We're just a regular family who enjoy each other's company. The new series, Semi Detached, starts tomorrow at 10 on BBC Two and iPlayer. This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. <laughs> Lebanon is in mourning after the huge explosion which killed at least 100 people and injured more than 4,000 others. The blast shook the whole city and a desperate search for more survivors is still underway. From 7 o'clock in the evening, we've been all over every hospital in Beirut and we are now waiting for the names to come out and nothing has come out. We don't know if he's dead or alive. Lebanon's Prime Minister says the blast happened when thousands of tonnes of confiscated ammonium nitrate caught fire at a warehouse. What happened today won't pass without a count. Those responsible will pay the price for what happened. This is a promise to the martyrs and to the wounded. Here in the UK, failing to implement border restrictions on arrivals earlier in the pandemic was a serious mistake, according to MPs. Indian Prime Minister Rendra Modi lays the foundation stone for a new Hindu temple in Ayodhya, a site that has long been a source of tension between Hindus and Muslims. WH Smith says it could axe up to 1,500 jobs in the UK after the pandemic pushed down the number of customers going into its stores. And good news for the Emperor Penguin, as satellite mapping technology discovers 11 new breeding sites in Antarctica. Hello, welcome. If you're watching here in the UK or around the world, do stay with us for all the very latest from across the globe. Rescue workers in Lebanon are digging through rubble looking for survivors after a devastating explosion in Beirut. At least 100 people are known to have died, but with many more missing and more than 4,000 injured, 